Good morning, ladies and fellers. It's another day. We are in Kentucky, and it is nice and hot. Still don't know why I have to say Kentucky like that. Kentucky? But I like their fried chicken. Diesel! How you doing this fine morning? How you doing? You tired still? We having a good dream? Good boy. So today we want to make it to Graham, North Carolina at least because we have to unload there. Okay guys, we are ready to go. We just fueled up this morning and we're about to roll out of the Flying J. Got our coffee. Oliver came and said hi today. If you're wondering who's Oliver, go back and watch tomorrow's vlog. Said hello. And we did our pre-trip. Got everything ready. Now as you can see, we're just about to uh, head out on the open road. There's some lightning outside, you guys see that? Cool, so we might be driving through some lightning storms today, which would make sense because it is really humid out. That's why I'm very glad I bought these gloves. Uh, when it gets humid out, your steering wheel gets very sticky. I don't like that, so that's what these gloves are for, exactly. So no sticky steering wheel today. And then if your hands are dirty, anything, any dirt or anything that's on your hands, it's like sticks like glue to your steering wheel, right? And later on it gets rubbed back onto your hands. But so far I like them. Makes me feel a little cool. <laughs> Just kidding. It doesn't make me feel cool. But uh, it has been helping. I, I do like them. Alright, what are we waiting for here? What are we waiting for? Oh, there's lots of lightning out there. Do you see that or did that truck block it all? I saw it around the side of that truck. It's right in front of them. Maybe we'll see some yet. I want thunderstorms. I want thunderstorms. And lightning and thunder. That's what we do. We obey the law. There. Oh, do you see that? Woo! Diesel. Oh, diesel's all. Oh, did you see that, man? That was crazy. Alright, this is called an on-ramp. In some cultures, people meander down this. And what you're supposed to do it is give her. This is your chance to get up to highway speed before you actually hit the highway. Revolutionary thought, I know. That's what this is designed for. Did you know that? I love it when it's on a downhill like that because it makes it easier for me. When they're on an uphill, there's no way I can hit highway speed by the time I hit the highway. Signal. We are... Continue 60 kilometers on I-64 East. Officially on the road. What's going on out there, man? Is there a thunderstorm outside? Is there a thunderstorm outside? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What's going on? Who did? Who did? Who did? Oh, it's okay, these are but What oh, do you see that one? Did you see that one? <laughs> thunderstorms in Kentucky. I love thunderstorms. We had to stop for five minutes to watch. I tell you, five minutes. There's been some big ones already. I tell you, there's been some big ones. <laughs> yeah. I actually had to stop to uh, uh, quickly grab some something to eat. I was really hungry, but as we stopped here, the lightning and thunderstorm from this morning is catching up with us, and it's just loud. At least it was. Every once in a while, there's just this loud crack. 
I love thunderstorms. Well, the rain got here. Gonna be a thunderstorm kind of day, I think. I like it. How many of you like thunderstorms? I love thunderstorms. I used to sit up <laughs> all night just to watch the lightning and hear the thunder. Okay, Diesel, hope this doesn't slow us down too much. It's a rainy, rainy day in West Virginia. West Virginia. Right, Diesel? Why are you sleeping again? <laughs> You're not in trouble, bud. Don't worry. Here, good boy. So it's a rainy, rainy day. Don't know if you caught that part or not. It's always raining when I'm out here. Most times. But that's okay, because I'll take rain over snow any day. Any day. I like snow better because it doesn't get everything so wet. It sort of just falls on stuff. But the fact that it's cold is what bothers me. <laughs> I may be from up north, but that doesn't mean I have to like the weather. If I had a snowmobile, it would make winter a whole lot more fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, I'd never have time to ride it anyway. Can't afford it. Well, we are still in West Virginia here. We just pulled into a little rest area. Now, I was going to take you for a little walk around here and show you around, but it's raining out and I don't want to get my camera wet. What about you, Diesel? You want to get wet? You need to go outside anyway, don't you? Yeah, you want to go outside. It's raining outside. I don't care, man. I don't care. Bring it on, man. Yeah, we'll take you out in just a second. I just want to show the good people here the rest area the best I can because you guys are probably wondering, you know, what's it like? Well, in front of me here you can see where the trucks park along the side there and there and the cars Excuse me diesel. Can you go in the back please? Thank you. I need your seat Hold on a second And the cars park over there and this is the rest area here so you got like picnic areas over there you got the bathrooms right over here and then you got a snack bar over there it says snack bar behind that pole so it's like vending machines and stuff and uh, Quite nice actually. The rest areas in the States, uh, they're pretty common compared to Canada. In Canada, the only time you get a good rest area is if you're in Ontario, really. Southern Ontario. Western Canada. Well, I know Alberta has some, but they're most, like, they don't have plumbing. I'll say that. Uh, not a lot of them, anyways. Manitoba has two one near the Saskatchewan border and one in Minnedosa, which have plumbing. But they're not nearly as nice as the ones down here. But what can you do, right? What can you do? It's, it's always nice to have a nice, clean place to stop and facilities to use because, you know, nature calls on the road. And especially for ladies, if you're a lady driver, I can just imagine how difficult it must be driving through Western Canada having nowhere to stop with a washer. 46 kilometers. Why do you do that, Mandy? Jace, did you have something to do with that? Did you touch something? Thought so. She just talks randomly when I'm parked sometimes. But yeah, anyways, uh, I understand it must be more difficult for you ladies finding a place to use the restroom. Uh, you know, you guys actually have it a lot harder than us guys because of that very reason. Me? Like, if, if I absolutely... Absolutely. Cannot wait. Have to go. Usually, you know, guys can find a place a little easier to go. Depending on uh, what you need to do. Anyways, enough about that. Diesel, do you want to go outside right now? <laughs> Don't tease me, man. 
Don't tease me, Lester. You're absolutely serious. I'm serious, man. You want to go outside? What are you looking at? Gazing out the window in deep thought, pondering the meaning of life. I'm trying to decide if the meaning of life is doggy treats or, or if it's fetch. I like fetch, man. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Who is that, Diesel? Who is that? Who drove past us right there? <laughs> You're boring today. Hey guys, let's uh, I think I'm gonna go walk the weasel. Let's continue on down the road. Diesel, that wasn't very fun now, was it? That wasn't very fun at all. Did you get all wet? Poor boy. Of course, mother nature in all her glory and all her hatred of me waits till the second me and Diesel get out of the truck. Like literally, just get out of the truck. Whoa, pouring. <laughs> I love you too, Mother Nature. I love you. Still in lovely, lovely West Virginia. I really like it here. I love the hills. I love the little cities packed into the valleys. It's very nice. It's so green too, so obviously I like it because it's green. Very, very nice West Virginia. How many of you are from West Virginia? Are any of you from this town I'm driving through? I don't exactly know which town it is, but it's nice. If you're from this town, I'm sure you'll recognize the highway that I'm on. Is it Charleston or Beckley or something like that? I call signs like that. I, I always forget to look for the town name before I start talking. I apologize. That's my bad. But if you recognize this highway I'm on and you're from around here, Say hello in the comments there. You live in a very nice area. Besides the rain, but I'm sure it doesn't rain every day. It wasn't raining last time I was here. Right, Diesel? All right, they want some money from us. Easy pass only. I know easy pass is accepted. Oh, I was in the right lane. Man, this is confusing. Right around the corner. Look how narrow they make this, eh? This is fun. They do it so that you don't go speeding through here. I wonder how many people actually hit the sides here. Ding, thank you, come again. Paying a toll in West Virginia is as easy as that with the Easy Pass Transponder. I like me some heavy haul. Look at this guy pulling this thing up the hill like a boss. Go driver, let those horses gallop. Let them fly, bud. Be the boss. Look at that beauty. Diesel, this is what makes life worthwhile right here, this view. This is what makes my job awesome. Virginia now. So this is the Flying J that I'm at for tonight. I already got one side closed here, so one side open. I believe you can see the Flying J sign. Where is it? There it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady hands. And there's the building right there. Can't quite tell where the Wi-Fi signal's coming from though. It's up there somewhere, but I got a pretty good signal here, so we should be good. No, I can't see it. Yeah, that's where we're at for tonight. Well, Diesel, how do you feel? Let's talk about your feelings, man. Look at that look you gave me. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? We are at the end of our day. Oh, look at that beard. It's looking at my screen right over here. I don't mean to talk about it in every video, it just almost scares me every time I see myself in the little screen beside the lens there. I'm like, whoa, that's right, there's, there's some hair there. <laughs> you think I get used to it? 
Uh, so we are in, where are we, Diesel? Diesel, where are we? <laughs> we are in uh, Graham, North Carolina. <laughs> But they're not going to unload me until tomorrow morning at 7.30 in the morning. And it's only 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. So we got some time. Yep. Don't know what we're going to do with it yet, but we're going to hang out. Hi, Diesel. Hi, Diesel. Hey, are you hiding? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There he is. <laughs> See, I have my tripod with me in the truck right now. Now, Diesel's food is usually here by my feet. But, uh just for now because I need this room here for my for my feet I put it there uh, I got some lighting in here now so you guys can see me and that's some behind the scenes footage aren't you special hey can you guys do this can you make your eyebrows dance can you make your head move well guys Thanks for watching the video today. It means a lot to me. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And if you didn't, well, hit it anyways for Diesel. Diesel, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, man. Tell everybody to hit that thumbs up button. No? Okay. Well, you don't have to, but if you want to. We're going to edit the vlogs here right now, me and Diesel. And see you tomorrow. 4 a.m. Central Time.